Hello, my name is Desiree De La Torre and I'm with the Johns Hopkins Health System to tell you today about the Access Partnership. The Access Partnership is a program that began in May 2009 to improve access to care uh, for uninsured patients. The patients came from a clinic at East Baltimore Medical Center where it's a dominantly African American uh, population. The patients were able to access primary care on a sliding scale and the clinicians were able to provide very good primary care but weren't able to uh, necessarily provide specialty care. They would write referrals and many of the patients would take that referral and try to make an appointment at different hospitals locally and sometimes they couldn't make an appointment and had to visit the emergency department instead. So this program was able to increase access to specialty care by implementing three components. The three components were care coordination, uh, payment uh, participation of $20, and a medical reviewer. So the participation is $20 based on that episode of care. So the patient would come in and the referral would be for cardiology. The patient would be called in by the care coordinator to pay the $20 to participate in the program. And the patient, if they were inclined to uh, and, and interested to attend, they would come back and pay the $20 and then the care coordinator would schedule their appointment and um, help them with any barriers of uh, transportation or whatever um, that the patient had. So the patient would pay the $20, attend their appointment, and the care coordinator would call to see if they attended the appointment and if they had any other access issues. The medical reviewer reviews all the referrals for medical necessity and in addition to that, duplication um, and works with the clinician to make sure that the patient uh, has that primary care and patient relationship. So the clinician uh, would sometimes write out five referrals and a lot of these patients had social burdens, um, other social needs, that five referrals would, would have been too many. So the clinician would work on the most important referral. So if the, they had five referrals, they would work on the cardiology referral instead of the uh, nutrition refer referral. So they would work on the most important one. Um, in addition to the medical review and the, the care coordination is the $20. And all we, we don't know which component is most important, but those three components were able to show a 7 to 8% no-show sure rate. Compared to the same Medicaid po same population and the Medicaid population, that's a 40% no-show sure rate. In addition to that, um, we're trying to see what what we take from these aspects and take it to understand the Medicaid population. and. Um,